Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. Today the market has moved up a little bit, um, but not much has happened. I think uh, Cardano is just moving in a straight line. We're going to take a look at that. Um, but yeah, pretty much in line with expectations currently, we're moving up slightly here. We talked about this channel that is forming and in some way or another, we should get into this target area here. Now that doesn't mean we just need to move in this straight line. Um, further, it could mean that we get a bit of a move up, you know, because I think there will be a breakout here at some point um, because it's getting squeezed a little bit. The price, you know, we're moving here currently in an ascending wedge actually would normally more likely actually, if you just look at the pattern itself, should really break to the downside more likely than not. It already did here. That was a fake out where we had two fake outs here, didn't we? Had a fake out to the upside and then we had a fake out to the downside and now we're moving. And you know, this is what why I don't really like to use patterns so much. I re really try to stick here with the um, Elliott waves. Um, with patterns, the problem is you never really know. The problem here, I mean, you never know anyway, <clears throat> but it's all about probabilities. And also here with this pattern, I mean, what do you do? You've got your bear flag, yeah, which is basically that flagpole coming down. And you've got here your um, yeah triangle or um, yeah the ascending wedge, you know, which should break to the downside. And if it's as it's part of a, you know, you could say part of a um, <clears throat> of a, a flag, it um, it should really break to the downside. Yeah, bear flag. Yeah, and um, in on the hourly it looks more like a channel, but again, it would be a bear flag. Um, on the other hand, what you have is pretty much here an inverse head and shoulder. So you've got your left shoulder here, your head and the right shoulder. That again would be a bit bullish. So again, that's why I don't really like patterns. Just confuses people. Um, and however, looking at what the price should be doing in terms of the Fibonacci levels and the retracements and the Elliott waves, the price should be moving further into this area here. Um, at the minimum, it should do the 39K. Yeah, we're not too far away from that. Actually, we moved quite close today. I mean, yesterday we were already at 38. Yeah, but it hasn't quite been enough to really complete that way for to do that. We need to get to at least 39,000. I think we should definitely reach that, but it does, doesn't mean that we couldn't drop once more. Yeah, and then go up. Um, there is a bit of a space obviously within which we can move. Doesn't mean it just needs to go up in a straight line. Yeah, pretty much what we saw here, you know, when Bitcoin did this wave four here, this wave four of a different degree, it also went up, down, up, down, up, and then started its downtrend, okay? So you're gonna see that here as well, where we have got these waves within waves, <coughs> sorry, um, and the price should be moving further into the direction. As I said today, um, twice in the videos, probably not much happening today. People are waiting for the meeting um, that is happening about interest rates where more more things are decided than just interest rates. But it will be, um, I think, it is obviously an important um, thing that is um, expected, an important um, factor that could influence the markets in the next few days. Um, generally, these decisions can have a short term effect and can move the market in a certain direction short term. Um, I think what we're seeing here is a potential that the market could move really either to this trend line, which is coming down here. Yeah, a descending trend line. And if I zoom out, you can see that fairly clear how it has really pushed the market down that descending trend line. Um, but overall, you know, we, we've got important support and resistance levels here on the chart as well. Pretty much here at 40K, that's a very important level. And if I zoom here to the daily chart, you can see that as well. That I don't think Personally, I don't think it's gonna get above 40K. Um, I think it would struggle with that. And if we take a look, you can see it on the chart here, how important that support and resistance at 40K is. You've got here, support here. You had, well, close enough here. Support here, very strongly. Resistance here, here. Um, there was a bit of an area of trade here and resistance back here. So it really is in a very important level, that 40K. And um, as I said, the minimum would be the 39K. I think we can reach the 40, but at some point then it's probably enough um, for the price and can't push higher. In the short term, I do expect another sell-off, yeah? It's never guaranteed, it's not guaranteed, but I strongly expect it. I strongly expect it. Uh, I don't think we, this is currently not setting up for an impulse. This is more looking like another correction, which would be characteristic of a wave four before we then move down in a 
wave five. And um, that would then take us down, yeah, into this area, probably below 29K. I expect some support at 30K, of course, you know, and then also at around here 20, just below 29K. This is the low of the wave A here. Yeah, a very important one. Um, there will be some serious support there, I expect, but then it could push down once more before it goes up. A lot of fear in the market. You know, a lot of people doubt what's going on here. Bear in mind, not only the crypto market is moving down, pretty much all markets. And in a few, maybe days, weeks, or even months, it's very hard to predict times. Um, the world look, will look completely different, you know. Um, so always try to detach yourself from the um, from the emotions that are going on in the market. Cardano moving here sort of, uh, we had a bit of a, a channel here forming, a little bit of like a bear flag as well, but um, it's now moving just sideways pretty much here. And um, it is really, really not moving a lot, <coughs> really, really tight here. And I guess if we would put here the Bollinger Bands on the chart or something, you would really see how they are getting squeezed. I mean, we can we can just do that. Um, there is this um, Bollinger. <clears throat> Let's just put the Bollinger Bands on the chart and um, probably go to the one hour chart. Yeah, I mean, you can see, I mean, on the one hour, you don't see it that much, probably more on the, maybe the eight hour. I think you can, you can see here on the four hour where it's now getting, I mean, it hasn't moved that much um, since it really, I mean, it pretty much stopped moving here. It stopped moving yesterday. Yeah, it's just moving sideways. So the Bollinger Mans, where they were fairly wide here, um, they're just getting squeezed and squeezed. And whenever Bollinger Bands get squeezed, there will be a, basically a breakout at some point. And that could, for example, happen tomorrow if there will be some sort of announcement um, around interest rates, maybe, you know, um, my guess is for tomorrow, I did mention it before, that they'll probably not increase interest rates in March. I think they're going to delay that decision. Well, the decision is probably made, but I think they're going to delay that it's actually happening until um, later in the year. I think it might not be before um, before June, July that they actually <coughs> start it. Sorry. Um, other than that, yeah, Cardano holding still here above the dollar currently. So we just need to be patient at the moment. In my view, you know, there is the breakout to the upside is of course, there is no breakout at the moment. It's just moving down still. Um, but as I said yesterday in the videos, we're getting close to the low, especially for Bitcoin as well. Yes, there could be another 20% drop, 30% drop for my opinion. Well, my opinion is that should be it. We can also see here for Cardano on the daily that ascending, um, not ascending, that bullish divergence that we can now see forming on the chart. It's actually quite a good sign here. You can see that here while we're making lower lows on the price, you make higher lows on the daily RSI. That hasn't been that clear for a while. It's actually a good sign. Um, so let's see <clears throat> what's going to happen here. But it's a first good sign. But then again, we had these signs a few times. But to be fair, on the daily in this whole correction, yeah, you can see that. On the daily in that whole correction, we didn't really have a bullish divergence on the daily yet. This is really since, oh dear, since when? Well, we haven't got, I mean, if you can see a bullish divergence here anywhere, let me know. I can't see one anywhere really. So it is potentially a really good sign that we see here bullish divergence on the daily for the very first time here for a long time probably um, on the chart. Maybe I can just not spot it at the moment. Sometimes that just happens. But yeah, at the moment it's looking like we're forming a real bullish divergence here on the daily and that is not insignificant. That is quite important actually. Um, looking good, especially as it's on the daily chart. So not um, basically uh, too short time. And you can see it even on the two day chart, which is good as well. Yeah, so it doesn't mean there is no further downside, but it means it's uh, the downtrend is slowing down. You can even see it on the four day chart. So all of that is looking fairly healthy, actually. Uh, can't really spot it on the weekly, but um, we can see on the weekly chart now how the selling pressure is slowing down a little bit. Now, again, it's too, too, too early to talk about here. Yeah, we could be turning around possibly because I do expect for Bitcoin still 
that additional sell-off. But it's already another good sign that we get close to the low. Yesterday I showed you some ideas why Bitcoin could be really close to the low. And after that, I do expect a strong move up. Now again, I could be wrong. I don't have a crystal ball, but I am not of the view that we get into a year long bear market. That is pretty much what many people now <laughs> expect after we've already um, come down that low. Many people now selling their crypto because they think we're going to get into a year long bear market. Now I think exactly the opposite, uh, that we're gonna see many people or the whales and institutions buy very soon and that will then push the price up and leave many people on the sidelines who sold their cryptos and think that they can buy back lower. Yes, as I said, there will be a bit of a further drop. Maybe that can happen very, very quickly. Again, leaves many people at the sidelines. Um, I think these are incredible times to buy. That's no financial advice, that's only what I think. Um, and yeah, fully understand we can drop lower, but the price targets for the next wave up are just fantastic. And I think these are really, really important times. And in these times, in my view, it's important to detach yourself, you know, I myself from the emotions, because in the end, the market is only doing that fear and greed. That is what drives the market forces. And um, yeah, when everybody gets fearful, that is when the markets start to go up. All right, that's my view here on Bitcoin and Cardano at the moment. I think looking fairly optimistic, positive here in the future. Yes, of course, there could be another drop and I do expect that to play out maybe throughout Q1. Um, after Bitcoin reaches that wave four, there will be another wave five set off. That is my strong view. Uh, again, nothing is guaranteed, but I would give it a 85% probability uh, po possibly for Bitcoin to sell off to below 29K. And um, yeah, from there then we should go all the way up, not necessarily to autumn highs straight away. I gave you another alternative yesterday where we could see some sort of a triangle emerging for Bitcoin, but uh, we should certainly see upside from there. Yeah, okay, so hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership on my website and you can find a link to that in the description. There you can get access to Discord and Telegram, a really, really good community over 600 members, 650 now, I think it's growing rapidly. And uh, yeah, really healthy and positive community as well. Really proud of every channel member because we've remained really, really calm in the Telegram chat. I know that in other groups, chaos <laughs> is chaos. Um, so that's really, really good. And uh, yeah, if you need some calmness in your life at the moment, then maybe just uh, take a look at it. All right, hopefully you like the update. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.